Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your December 2023 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the last two weeks of December and this reading is for the water sign of Cancer. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all doing well as we continue to move through the remainder of the holiday season and into a new year shortly. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you. Thanks for watching these videos, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please hit that like button. Uh, those of you who comment, who reach out for personal readings, who refer and recommend, my gratitude to you always. So Cancer, if your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign is in Cancer, if you're cross-watching for a Cancerian, this video is for you. If you know any of your other signs, watch them for additional insight. General readings, of course, may resonate a little differently for everyone. <clears throat> now, if something really does resonate with you, it really hits home and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, or you simply like the reading style, if you're interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, personal readings do make great gifts because they're personal, they're lovely, and they're easy to give. And we are still in the midst of the biggest gifty season of the year. So they do make lovely gifts. But if you're interested in any of that, please email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the description of this video. I would love to hear from you. And I do offer a pretty wide variety of readings in all areas of life of all different types and lengths and styles and budgets or something in there for everyone. Uh, and I can usually get back to you the same day with more information. And I do readings full time. It is all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling uh, for personal readings if that's important to you. Pretty popular right now too are the 6 and 12 month overviews I do which take a look in all areas of life 6 or 12 months ahead which you can order any time of the year but a lot of people like to do it around this time of year as we're starting to move into a new year so something to keep in mind. Alright let's move right into this. Cancer let's see what the last half of December, the last two weeks of this year look like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. Okay, Cancer, we begin with the Page of Cups. Could be a message, messages, positive messages. Could be a message of love. Could be some flirtation there. Or just simply love, support, and encouragement. With the Five of Swords. A hard-won victory, winning at all costs. So, I always feel with the Five of Swords is something worth it. It's taking a look at whatever the goal is that you're... I mean, you know, this is a card of somebody who's determined to win at all costs, uh, no matter what the cost of that victory is. So is it worth it or not? Here it looks like you are receiving quite simply a positive message about a victory. Or some kind of news or information that makes you feel like a victory is at hand or possible. Next we have the Nine of Wands. But you may be feeling a bit worn out, sometimes a bit discouraged or defeated or just tired. <laughs> uh, the Nine of Wands we call often our Wounded Warrior card because it represents somebody who's already been through quite a bit. They've already been through a number of battles, a number of challenges, and there's one more in front of them. And they're just feeling kind of tired, maybe feeling a bit discouraged. Do I have what it takes to complete this? Tens represent cycle endings and uh, cycle coming full circle. So you're very, very close cancer to completing the end of a cycle. This is kind of our hang in there. It's the 11th hour, darkest before dawn sometimes kind of card. But of course, in a general reading, the intensity may vary. Whatever the situation is, it feels like you've maybe struggled, worked long and hard. With that, we have justice for something right, moral, ethical, honorable, fair, transparent, reaping what you sow. It may be that, that some of you in a particular situation have thought to yourself from time to time, uh, you know, is this ever going to turn out right for me? Are all of, my, all of the efforts, everything that I've been through, is it going to turn out right for me? Are things going to be balanced and fair? struggling to do the right thing, struggling and hoping for the right thing to happen. Next we have the Four of Cups, an offer being made, an offer being considered. You might be thinking that the grass is greener on the other side of something. There may be an offer extended to you and you're unsure as to whether to take it. Do I need it? Do I want this? Is it going to benefit me? <coughs> is this going to be good for me? Am I going to regret this? 
but it comes with the wheel of fortune <laughs> divine timing and orchestration god's spirit angels and guides this is a card i personally nicknamed god's finger god's fingerprint god's finger god's spirit angels and guides so it looks like whatever this offer is this offer or opportunity is it might be emotional in nature it might be love based for some of you it looks like there is divine timing and orchestration attached to it here with the wheel of fortune <clears throat> from the bottom of the deck the overall energy is the six of coins gift giving and gift receiving i mean we are you know we are in the last half of december which is a gift giving season so but this points to i mean, I mean it could point to that for some of you but it feels like something specific it may be the same offer as in that four of cups it may be two different offers let's Let's take a look. Six of coins for overall energy. The king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. The king of air, the king of intellect, probably very smart, if not well educated, probably very a clear and direct communicator. All about things being bare, fair and balanced and even the king of swords goes well with that justice card so there's an an offer being extended to you from the king of swords you might be the one offering but i always read first for what's incoming we have you cancer the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising venus male or female could be another water sign so we have water and air here the four of wands happy homes unexpected blessings and happy surprises can represent celebratory events some of you this just might be the holiday energy holidays parties gift giving gift receiving others of you it is a specific i mean this is one of the the wedding marriage cards as well so it may be some of you <laughs> towards the end of the year might be getting a marriage proposal or extending one There is a sense of it being unexpected here for some of you as well. Let's take a look at this Page of Cups, Five of Swords, Page of Cups, positive messages, flirtations. The Four of Cups again, there's like gift giving all over this. We have two Four of Cups, one Six of Pentacles. It all represents offers being extended. The Seven of Pentacles, reflection, taking stock. Some of you are looking at, again, it's like looking at this offer and going, look at what I have invested in something. What do I have to show for it? And trying to make decisions on how to build a better future or a more stable future for yourself. Considering this offer. Five of Swords. <clears throat> seven of swords our card of strategy which is always done behind closed doors because this is a card of you know concealment it can be deceit trickery theft exploitation it's a card of it, it's a very self-serving card meaning you have something you want to accomplish gain maintain so you're clever about that you're smart you have a strategy this is how to win here with the five of swords the ace of pentacles a brand new beginning for some of you this might be in career work or finance because the ace of pentacles can represent new jobs new money can represent moving relocating new projects this can apply in emotional areas too it can apply to relationships but it would be the start of a new path or the opportunity to go down a new path which has a practical element to it and potential to become something long-term and stable being very strategic about this some kind of offer or offer opportunity coming in it may be something you've worked hard for it may be something that you don't expect to come in it may be something you're striving to get there is a sense of strategy here it, it, it really feels cancer like you may have more than one offer or more than one opportunity you may already be involved in something or someone and there's another offer or opportunity being extended and you're trying to actually be smart and strategic about this 
it, I mean, it could be relationship in terms of third party situations. Um, could be job work career as well because I'm feeling that there's a choice between what is currently in your life and something new coming in let's take a look at this nine of wands feeling a bit tired trying to wondering what is the best thing to do the lovers the three of pentacles for some of you that this might read as more of a, a relationship reading there's a pretty strong energy of, of, of multiple choices here or third party situations. There's a decision here which has you feeling kind of, you know, this nine of wands, kind of feeling worn out, you know. Nine of wands with justice. What is the right thing to do or waiting for that? Waiting for somebody to do the right thing. And in the midst, perhaps some of you of waiting for someone to do what you perceive to be the right thing, along comes another offer. And there's a choice here because this is, the lovers represent a relationship at a crossroads, at a fork in the road, and a, and a choice needs to be made. Now, the choice might be about the relationship itself. Do we continue forward? If so, how? Or do we go our separate ways? It's a very strong connection here with the lover's card. It might The decision might be in another area of life, um, but the choice even there will significantly impact this relationship. And with that, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is a card of it's a kind of a group energy, a card of teamwork, compromise, negotiation, working together to build something solid and stable. But it's not a two energy like the lovers is um, per se. I mean, it could apply that, but it may be making a decision for some of you in the career work finance area this may be that you and a partner have to make a decision on a partnership or a business uh, collaboration compromise negotiation it could be with justice that if you've been involved in any kind of legal situations or litigations it may be settling or coming to some kind of compromise and negotiation around that it may be about taking accepting an offer or partnership that would require you to move or relocate again could be legal situations some of you in in relationship this could be a third party situation and needing to make a choice about that let's take a look at justice a, a choice needs to be made a decision needs to be made i mean that's pretty much what's all over this reading offer opportunity and what do i do about it so with justice we have the knight of cups and the knight of swords so knights represent offers and opportunities for change the speed at which situations come in because knights of course when you think about the role of knights in the medieval world they have a mission they have a, a, a something to accomplish a quest they're after something the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Water, the Knight of Emotion. This is our love knight. Love offers our opportunities or emotional offers and opportunities. The Knight of Swords is our information knight. Very, very decisive action. There's some kind of offer opportunity, again, coming in. And you're, uh, and, and this is about, you know, whether or not you're going to take this offer or opportunity. And again, it feels like for a lot of you, there's at least two choices here. Let's take a look at that Four of Cups. Some of you, again, it's a work money situation. It may require you to move or relocate or kind of shift your life. It's going to impact a relationship pretty strongly or a partnership of some kind. Um, others of you, it's a legal situation. Again, it's about whether to accept a new offer or not, kind of compromise and negotiation. Others of you in relationship, there is a third party energy here. There is more than one choice here. And the choice is between what you have and what new is coming in that might be offering you something that you don't currently have. Let's take a look at the Four of Cups. another knight the knight of wands another fast moving opportunity i mean you have three knights here emotion love information decisiveness passion excitement very fast moving the chariot and the nine of pentacles you know for work money this is a very good reading for anything to do with your financial and material stability because there's an offer an opportunity here with the chariot success 
success on perhaps what has been a difficult or challenging path winning because again strategic it's about utilizing all your resources pulling them together and sheer perseverance determination and willpower nine of pentacles is independence self-sufficiency self-empowerment self-confident feeling like you've worked really hard to get to this place um it, it, this this offer looks quite good and with the wheel of fortune it's divine timing and orchestration which likely means that this is an offer or opportunity that spirit is bringing in there's almost for some of you a sense of spirit rewarding you by making this offer let's take a look at the wheel of fortune strong energy of, about you taking it the eight of wands very fast moving energy it might be travel too some of you might be traveling this offer it might be to travel the ace of swords enlightenment the light bulb going off over your head new information a new perspective and the five of swords again hard won victory it, it, you know it feels like something you've been wanting or wanting to trying to manifest for quite some time and have had a lot of struggles in doing so cancer whether that's in your financial material life whether that's in your emotional life it feels like you've been caught up in a situation that you've been throwing yourself at that it just has felt like it's never going to get to where i want it to be there is an offer offer opportunity coming in here which requires you know you to make a choice um and it feels very much like whatever this new uh offer coming in particularly if it's about your long-term stability and security whether that's financial material emotional or combination feels very much like like spirit wants you to take it but let's ask guidance advice feedback for cancer last half of december 2023 <clears throat> six of pentacles again lots of repeating cards which is spirit's way of drawing your attention to what that card represents six of pentacles which is already your overall energy and theme so whatever the offer is coming in whatever is being opted whatever is being gifted to you spirit is clearly saying here take it justice again it is the right thing it is just it is fair it is equitable it is even eight of swords don't tell yourself that you can't because of whatever reasons justifications or excuses which are usually based on fear right i can't because of this i can't because of that i can't because of the other thing don't do that the fool the ace of wands the six of wands this will fund taking this opportunity will fundamentally change your life the fool the zero the first major arcana card in the tarot it will start your life in a whole new direction a whole new life cycle life chapter is opening up for you which means you have to leave something behind ace of wands similar exciting new beginnings six of wands victory triumph success after a challenge after a battle could be raises and promotions uh bonuses for those of you for work and career it's being elevated it's being seen as very special a victor so i mean there isn't much left to be said cancer it's it's quite clear here that um what's being brought to you is being brought by spirit doesn't mean you have to take it free will free agency you can say no i wouldn't <laughs> all right i'm going to leave it there cancer those are your messages for the last half of december 2023 i hope you enjoyed them and found them useful gave you something to think about <clears throat> in moving forward uh, if you did like this if it did resonate with you or you simply like the reading style again if you're interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else please feel free to email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also see that contact info by clicking the description i would be delighted to hear from you and to see you i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the very first general readings of a brand new year and i hope you all have a very merry christmas and a wonderful new year and i hope to see you back here again soon Bye bye